Internet. Scientist. In this video, I tested whether dark clothing would stay warmer than light clothing in cold conditions outside by using a black t-shirt and a white t-shirt. The premise of this experiment is that black objects absorb all the colors of the visible light spectrum, and white objects reflect them all. In bright environments, black objects have higher temperatures than white objects. The question is though, will the black shirt be significantly warmer than the white shirt, or will the cold conditions outside cancel out the properties of the black shirt? For the experiment, I laid a white and black t-shirt in the snow for one hour at 12 p.m., the highest point of the sun so the shirts had the most light exposure. The conditions outside were 20 degrees Fahrenheit with 60% humidity and winds at 27 miles per hour. Because the winds were actually pretty high, I had to weigh the shirts down with some rocks. I took the temperature of the shirts using a digital surface thermometer. I took the first reading at noon when I first laid the shirts down. The surface temperature of the snow was 12 degrees Fahrenheit. The white shirt was 16 degrees Fahrenheit, and the black shirt was 32 degrees Fahrenheit. I took six more readings in 10 minute intervals. Here's the data if you want to pause the video and check it out. The snow surface had an average temperature of 14 degrees Fahrenheit, the white shirt average was 17 degrees Fahrenheit, and the black shirt average was 29 degrees Fahrenheit. On average, the black shirt was 71% warmer than the white shirt. This is a significant temperature difference, and is pretty amazing considering how cold and windy it was. There were a couple notable measurements that should be brought up. The warmest readings for the snow was 21 degrees Fahrenheit, the white shirt was 22 degrees Fahrenheit, and the black shirt was 35 degrees Fahrenheit. During the fifth reading, there was a strong gust of wind that made the temperature drop quite a bit. In this reading, the snow surface was 3 degrees Fahrenheit, the white shirt was 5 degrees Fahrenheit, and the black shirt was 19 degrees Fahrenheit. So even in sharp temperature drops with wind, the black shirt still retained a much warmer temperature than the white shirt. When I picked up the shirts afterwards, the black t-shirt was actually heavier than the white t-shirt. This is likely because it had melted snow and absorbed it as water. What's the science behind black clothing staying warmer than white clothing? Photons from the light strike the dye molecules that make the color black. These molecules are better able to absorb the photons due to their molecular structure causing them to vibrate faster, therefore giving off heat. When wearing black clothing, if you factor in multiple layers and your own body heat, you'll be quite warm. But it does have to be sunny out. If you have any ideas you would like tested in future videos, just post in the comments below. Thanks for watching and uh, stay warm.